chord shapes and our bar chord shapes here. Why do we need, if you, everybody looks closely here, you can see and hear very well, and that doesn't sound right, you can get a visual and um, you can also hear um, the different types of G chords that are here for us. Ready? There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. And there's even a fifth in there somewhere too. So why do we need all these different G chords? Well, if we tend to play country. We want this sound. Okay? Now we're using our open chord version here because if we look at our G major, the two center strings here are in fact not being fretted. They are open. Therefore allowing themselves, lending themselves to the opportunities that we need for country. Something like this. So we have what we call our flavoring for our open G chord. Um, our ability to make the chord shape have a very distinctive sound to it. Then we have, say, we will take our F chord shape, which is our F major, the bottom four, and we take it up a full step. When we learn in all the notes on the fretboard concept, it should kind of make sense here how we're just shifting. If that there is an F major, that becomes a G major because we are in fact still fretting the same four. So let's take that G then. First we have this. And that lend itself to. Then we have this here, which is still a G. Hear the similarities? Now we can choose to add in this top, which of course is a G as well. We learn in all the prep, all the notes on the fretboard concept, E, F, G, G. There's our F chord shape brought up a full step. That there we can throw over the top. What we do is, is we will purposely, what we call here uh, at the fast track lesson plan, a doinker, a purposeful doinker. We're going to blocking that string with the top bit of finger number three ever so gently. We don't want it to ring out. This type of G lends itself to more of your swing or your blues kind of concept. So it could be something like So we have that or Two. We have a third example. Oh, we have this one sitting here, right here, which is our traditional bar chord version of this. This is the G major. Well, this lends itself usually to stuff like this. Okay, so we've got that sound coming out of that as well. So we have, say, our fourth. Someone is using a different G down here. They're using one of those. We can complement that, say, with their second guitar. Something like this. And we're kind of in a country vein here with the tone and what we can do with it because we have. Or we have.